All right, it's time for Wine Wednesday, and the return of that colder, wetter weather does mean the return of a tasting room favorite at a local winery. The wine pods are back at Willamette Valley Vineyards Estate in the Salem Hills, and here to tell us all about it and some other fun updates for the fall is General Manager Spence Fogarty. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you for, for chatting with us here from Wine Country. We see you're in one of the pods. So tell us a little bit about the, the wine pod tasting experience. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the Belama Wine Pod experience started a couple years ago for us here. Um, just another unique way for uh, our valued guests and customers to come through, enjoy wine country, enjoy wine, um, while sitting out on our beautiful patio overlooking uh, our Bruno Block Vineyard. Um, and uh, just enjoying a, an intimate experience. The, the wine pods were such a hit the, the first time around. Why, why does this work so well? You know, Oregonians love to enjoy activities outside. It's not get better weather, it's get better gear. And for this, <laughs> it's get a better experience. Uh, and so we've got a beautiful wine already and beautiful uh, service. And so we just found that people liked it because it was unique. Um, yes, it kind of really came together with, uh, you know, associated parties in your bubble uh, during COVID. But uh, even after that, uh, we saw um, really some, some success. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a fun get way to... Get better gear, I like that. Get better gear. <laughs> it's a fun way to still get outside. And, and you also have a new uh, heated patio. So tell us a little bit about just kind of all, all the ways that you can get out to enjoy wine country this time of year. Yeah. Um, so what we do is we have a, a heated tent out on our patio. Again, all clear siding so you can come out and enjoy food and wine. And then with the wine pod experience, what you do is you can book that online with us or we accept walk-ins. Um, what it is, it's $150 or $100 for uh, club members and owners. And all of that money goes back towards your wine credit. Uh, so when you come through, you get a little tour of the cellar. Uh, you get a welcome pours, and then we have a knowledgeable winery ambassador uh, who takes you through a curated flight. Um, you also get a charcuterie and cheese board, um, and then you sit out here. It's up to six people. Uh, it's a two-hour experience um, and just a way for you to enjoy uh, the wonderful uh, outdoor atmosphere that Oregon has to offer. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you, I mean, it's not just the, the pods. You have new tasting rooms. You have new restaurants. You all have been really expanding over the last couple of years. What's, what's cooking for the holidays? Anything fun happening that's uh, on the docket here? Yeah, we're very excited about some of our new uh, tasting room restaurants. We have uh, Vancouver on the waterfront, uh, Lake Oswego, and Happy Valley. All of those are offering different stock your cellar opportunities. Um, we've got a lot of our holiday packs for people to come in and pick up. Uh, Domain Willamette, which is out in Dundee. Uh, we've got a pre-Thanksgiving uh, event going on out there. And then here at the estate, um, the uh, Black Friday through that Sunday, we have cellar sessions where people can come through, enjoy a uh, wine down uh, in little enclaves amongst the barrels enjoy a curated flight, and we're even going to do some wax dipping of some magnums. Um, so a lot of different areas for us uh, for people to come and enjoy wine. Oh, that's really fun. Mm. You know, Thanksgiving weekend is always a big one for wine country. So if folks don't know, uh, just kind of give us the rundown of, of what's going to be happening after the Thanksgiving holiday and, and what people can expect this time of year. Yeah, uh, a lot of great specials, um, both uh, in-store and not. Uh, we've got, uh, as I said, the seller sessions. Um, it's uh, $45 uh, here at the estate, $35 for club members and owners. Um, that does come with a uh, Willamette uh, Pinot glass um, and a $10 credit. Um, it's a 90, uh, I'm sorry, a 45 minute uh, experience with you and uh, a couple other people to enjoy down in the cellar. Um, we also have the um, pre Thanksgiving uh, at a domain, um, but then also at the other tasting room and restaurants. Um, we are open um, uh, for people to come in, enjoy food and wine, um, and to really stock up uh, for that holiday season. So um, we expect a lot of people to come out. You can always book online on our website, or we are always welcome with a friendly smile and a splash of wine if you just show up. I uh, love, love that. It is very much, well, wine season's year-round. I was about to say this, but right now in the fall, going right. into winter, oh, man, a, a good Pinot just really... Finishes off the day. Never Love a it. bad time to be in wine country. Mm -hmm. All right. Spence, uh, Spence Fogarty, really appreciate your time here. Again, the general manager at Willamette Valley Vineyards. Uh, appreciate your time and a look at the pods. I'm so glad the pods are back. They mm -hmm. were such a big hit the first time around. 
Come enjoy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing everybody. Absolutely. And again, for reservations, locations, and more, you can always check out WVV.com. Well,